What's up YouTube? Dougie Chong here. Today I'm going to be mounting my GTX 1050s onto my mining rig frame. You can see I got a nice ground wire that runs across. Uh, most rigs don't have this. It's not entirely necessary, but it reduces the risk of electrostatic shock. Now this ground wire is just simply attached to a dummy plug and connected to the outlet. There we have it, all 12 GTX 1060s, 1050s actually. So they actually have a lot of space between them and these cards don't actually get that hot, which is another advantage. So the disadvantage of these, they only get about 300 hash per second on Monero and you can't mine Ethereum on them because their memory is too small. But I usually just mine Electronium anyways. But the advantage is, well you need a lot of them. Six of them are equivalent to about one Vega. But the price is almost the same. It uses a bit more power. For the ends here, I'm actually putting four Vega Frontier Editions. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to put the motherboard and power supplies on the bottom. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I already have my CPU and my motherboard for my failed attempt at using RX 580s. Here I'm going to try the MSI Z270A Pro with hopefully 12 GTX 1050s. Right now I only have enough power for about 6 of them. But yeah, I'm just going to put the RAM and this is actually my brother's power supply, so Rosewell. I usually stick with EVGA ones, but he's using mine right now, so I'll use his. It's platinum, always get platinum. Yep. Motherboard cable, need that for sure. Probably the CPU one. Let's go to the
All right, here it is all set up. Let's power it on. This is the Ubuntu one, apparently. <coughs> well, we can give it a go. Doesn't even recognize it, actually. Here I am restarted with the graphics driver installed. Uh, if I go to Device Manager, you should see my GTX 1050 right there. Intel Graphics is also enabled. So now. Here I will enable 4G mode, speed to Gen 2, 96 and enable, save and exit, save changes and reboot. Alright so plugging them one at a time into the splitter seemed to work. Let's try out XMR stack with the splitter now. Remember without the splitter it was about 290, 285. With the splitter, I'm expecting lower, but let's see how much lower. Two eighty and two sixty three. So with two is not bad, with three I find it gets even worse. That's maybe only like ten twenty hash. So I hit a slight snag. I had some two Zotac ten fifty minis, and apparently minis they don't run well with regular ten fifties. I got this little guy, it's an MSI 1050, but it's just 1050, not a 1050 mini. He seems to work fine. So we'll see if we can get seven of these up and going. So this was a pain when I finally got all seven of them recognized. Uh, I couldn't get it in that last slot. I had to put three in the splitter and four more. So that's seven in total. Yeah, I also had to connect the monitor using a DVI cable. It would not work from the integrated graphics. Just kept restarting. So hopefully some of these tips helped you. Um, that's 7 GPUs going. Thanks for watching. Today I got my new power supply. So now I have 12 GTX 1050s hooked up. They're all registered by the device manager. 12 of them. Hopefully it works on XMR stack. Let's try it out. Here we have XMR stack reading all 12 of them. I use JJ's XMR stack hash rate monitor to restart if there's a hash drop.
So far, nothing. 12 GPUs, it could take a while to register. Oh, new block detected. Three thousand two hundred hash per second for twelve cards. Thanks for watching.